Hello everyone, welcome back again to FN Engineering channel. Today, we are going to continue regarding the pressure vessel series discussion. In this video, I will explain regarding types of pressure in pressure vessel, including design pressure, maximum allowable working pressure, maximum allowable pressure, test pressure, and others. Alright, before we continue, please support this channel by subscribing FN Engineering channel and like our video. Thank you. Well, here are our outline explanation from this video. We will briefly learn regarding maximum allowable working pressure or MAWP, maximum allowable pressure or MAP, maximum allowable operating pressure or MAOP. Maximum operating pressure or MOP, design pressure, hydrostatic test pressure, pneumatic test pressure, and relief pressure. In the last explanation, we will try to solve the study case regarding some calculation to find the pressure, including MAUWP, MAP, and test pressure. First of all, we will describe the maximum allowable working pressure. It is maximum pressure permissible at the top of the vessel at a design temperature. For detail, you can see in paragraph UG 98. Meanwhile, for the use equation to calculate MAWP, each part of the vessel has a certain formula. For example, to calculate MAWP on the shell, you can see in paragraph UG27. We will show the calculation in the study case at the end of this video. In addition, we will consider some parameters to evaluate or calculate MAWP, such as design temperature, corrosion allowance, and the weakest part of the vessel. MAWP is commonly used to determine test pressure of pressure vessel, refer to paragraph UG99. Next, we will discuss about maximum allowable pressure or MAP or maximum allowable operating pressure or MAOP. The definition of MAP or MAOP is maximum pressure permissible at the top of the vessel at the cold and new condition. It is different with MAWP because MAP calculates the pressure at ambient condition and no corrosion allowance. Meanwhile, MAWP calculates the pressure at the design temperature and consider the corrosion allowance. MAP is sometimes used to limit the pressure of vessel vessel when testing the equipment. Go to the next slide. We will discuss regarding maximum operating pressure or MOP. MOP is the maximum operating pressure below high pressure alarm or shutdown during operation. The value of MOP is typically 90 to 95 percent of MAWP or design pressure. It depends on regulation at the company. Then, design pressure. Design pressure is the pressure that used to design pressure vessel equipment. It is applied to calculate the strength of the equipment. In practice experience or company regulation, design pressure is commonly 10 to 25% above operating pressure. The next pressure is hydrostatic test pressure. It is the pressure that used to test the strength of the equipment using water fluid. The reference used for hydrostatic pressure is in UG99. From this paragraph, the hydrostatic test pressure can be calculated from 1.3 multiplied by MAWP. 
we have to consider some parameters regarding hydrostatic test pressure, including temperature test condition, orientation test condition, and fluid of testing. Similar to hydrostatic test pressure is pneumatic test pressure. The difference with hydrostatic test pressure is the, co the test condition using air fluid. The reference for pneumatic test pressure uses UG100. To calculate pneumatic test pressure, we can use an equation in UG100, namely 1.1 multiplied by MAWP. The next pressure is relief pressure. It is commonly used to prevent overpressure of the equipment. The value of relief pressure is influenced by MAP or MAWP. To set the pressure commonly uses a pressure relief valve or PRV or pressure safety valve, PSV. Alright, turn on to the study case. We will determine maximum allowable working pressure, maximum allowable pressure, and test pressure for the shell with following requirements. Material uses SA516 with 70. Design internal pressure is 1.2 MPa. Design internal temperature is 150 degrees Celsius. Inside diameter of the shell is 500 millimeters. And the nominal thickness is 8 millimeters. First of all, we have to find other data. They can be assumed or found on the database. The data are allowable stretched at design temperature, 150 degrees Celsius. The value is 138 MPa. You can find on ESME section 2D. Then, Allowable stress at ambient temperature is also 138 MPa. Next, we assume corrosion allowance, 3 mm. And the last is joint efficiency. We assume no radiography, so joint efficiency is 0.7. First, we will calculate the maximum allowable working pressure and maximum allowable pressure. For MAWP, we use data at design condition and considering corrosion allowance. Meanwhile, MAP, we use data at ambient temperature and no corrosion allowance. We use equation in UG27. Alright, in the next step, we define the value of this equation. S or lower stress is 138 MPa, both at design temperature and ambient temperature. E, or zone efficiency, is 0.7. T, or nominal thickness, is 8 mm. Meanwhile, the nominal thickness in correct condition is 5 mm. R, or inside radius, is 250 mm. We divide inside diameter 500 mm with 2. Meanwhile, inside radius in correct condition is 253 mm. Well, we have already had all the value to be input into the equation. First, we calculate MAWP. We use S, E, T corroded and R corroded. From the equation, we get 1.89 MPa for MAWP. Then, we will calculate the MAP. We input global stress at ambient temperature, joint efficiency, nominal thickness at new condition, and insert reduce at new condition into the equation. We get 3.03 MPa for MAP. Alright, we have done calculation for MAWP and MAP. Now, turn on to calculate test pressure. 
Here are the equation to calculate hydrostatic test pressure and pneumatic test pressure. Refer to UG99 and UG100. From UG99, the hydrostatic test pressure is 1.3 multiplied by MAWP and ratio of SA divided S. S or allowable stress addition condition, it is 138 MPa. SA or allowable stress at ambient temperature is also 138 MPa. And MAWP is 1.89 MPa. Refer to the previous calculation. Now, we input all parameters into the equation. We get hydrostatic test pressure 2.45 MPa. And pneumatic test pressure 2.07 MPa. Well, we have done calculating all study cases. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video. If you have some comments or suggestion, please write on the comment column. And if you get something new from this video, please like my video, subscribe to my channel, share this video or channel to others, and turn on the notification from this channel to get updated video from FN Engineering channel. See you next time.